first day back in the office. I belong, I belong to you. I'm just not cut out for this office life anymore. This dish is 10 out of 10. Wow. Do just what you want. What is up you guys and happy monday welcome back to another weekly vlog i'm giving off real like drowned rat sporty spice kind of vibes <laughs> i got caught in the rain so my hair is a mess i look like hermione granger um but i really like my outfit today here's a little ootd i have on this cap from adidas blazer is white fox top is sports go i think and then i just have on the same old princess poly jeans and i was wearing sneakers um but yeah, cute. It's 1.30, I just got home. I went for breakfast with my friend Jacqueline, which was really nice. We went to a mother's milk on Unley Road. Really good food. Um, and yeah, we just caught out and we both work in like the insurance industry and customer service, but just for different companies. So it was always nice like talking to her about it because I feel like we just get it. Just hearing about a job, catching up on life. I'm now home, we stopped at Kmart on the way because <laughs> this is like the most random assortment of stuff. I have a freaking cucumber because I'm going back into the office tomorrow and I want to make some tuna and cucumber sandwiches. Nick got a couple of rice packs. I got a low temperature glue gun and a bunch of these wax seal sticks, which you load into the glue gun so that we can get started with our wedding invitations. I ordered this personalized wax stamp from Etsy. Took a while to come, I'll have it linked down below, but it just has an E and an N on it. I think this is the exact one that Rachel used for her wedding invitations. Oh. I just think it's such a cool idea and our actual invites are pretty, I wouldn't say boring, but like they're pretty simple. So I feel like this is a nice way to kind of jazz it up and personalize it. So my purse is like stuffed with a bunch of these wax stamps. So we might do that this afternoon because it is T minus like six months to the wedding so we've got to get our wedding invitations out we didn't do any save the dates just because i feel like it's kind of a waste of money at least for us personally but because of that i feel like we need to send our invites out a little bit sooner but yeah um that's been our morning we both got our second dose of the covid vaccine yesterday so i'm feeling a little bit well nick is more than me <laughs> i actually feel fine i also drank last night i don't know if that's the key i haven't drunk in forever and then for some reason like every night this long weekend um it is a long weekend by the way here in adelaide at least it's labor day so that's why i'm not at work but yeah we have today off and so last night and saturday night just had a big night and i thought i would feel terrible today because of like the combo of drinking and also getting vaccinated but i feel fine i'm a little tired but i'm always tired but nick is feeling a little bit under the weather i think he also felt the effects more last time and i felt nothing so i hope it's working <laughs> but yeah i think we're gonna chill out for the next little bit and then we are going to clean excuse me clean the damn house it is such a mess i'll do it before and after so you can see it's just been a time i don't think we did a good clean last weekend and so it's really it's yeah not good <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then go over to my parents house we're gonna have dinner my sister's coming over i don't think i told you guys but she recently moved out on her own in a little share house which is kind of fun so um it's it's weird <laughs> like seeing her be an adult i'm like you are literally 12.
the bottle. Keys. Headphones. I think that's everything. You're the best. Hello. Hello. Nick made me my lunch today because I forgot. Also, uh, Pardon? Uh, oh no. Here's a little OOTD. I have on this coat from Princess Polly. Top, I think it's from Kmart. Pants are Topshop. And then I just have on these flats. It's not the coldest day outside, but the office gets freezing during the day. And I'm just a very cold person anyway. So yeah, good official morning. I don't think I've said hello. Happy Wednesday. I've just finished getting ready and I'm off first day of work back in the office which is so crazy i feel like i'm going back to school on my first day of school yeah got my smoothie for the go because i don't know i haven't been eating breakfast till like 10 30 11 recently but i know that as soon as 10 o'clock hits i'll be starving so i took a smoothie to go ready for a good day happy wednesday <laughs> Back in office, what a time it was. I have only just gotten home, like literally just walked through the door. What time is it? 6.07, 6.07. God, I do not miss the commute to and from work. This morning was actually not bad. It literally took me like 15 minutes. Sorry, my camera is like crooked. Yeah, it literally took like 15 minutes to get in, which was not bad at all. We live a lot closer to the office than our last apartment, which is really nice. So. I got in really quickly and honestly I would have gotten home quite quickly even with the traffic if I hadn't gotten on the wrong bus. So what was meant to be like a 20 minute journey home ended up being like over an hour. So love that for me. The bus just completely missed my stop. I had no idea that it did that obviously um, until it went like 15 minutes that way and then I had to wait for the other bus to go like 15 minutes the other way and I was like should I walk and then it was like a 40 minute walk and I was like no way Jose and I am hot I'm so glad I wore this coat even though it was like 22 degrees outside I was stuck inside all day um other than like my lunchtime walk that I went on just to, like get some fresh air get my steps in um and it was freezing in office as expected so the coat was necessary um it also looks like it's about to pour down with rain it's so such weird weather I thought that was Nick. It's not Nick. I got excited. <laughs> Nick should be home pretty soon. I think he just left. Um, he had a photo shoot with the advertiser. Um, I think they're like doing an article and something with his cricket. I don't really know. <laughs> Famous. Um, so yeah, he went and did that after work. I'm going to change into some trackies and a jumper because that is just all I live in these days and wearing normal people clothes all day. Oh, I'm just not cut out for this office life anymore. This is why I don't leave the house. This is why I work from home. But no, it was a really good experience. I'm really glad that I went. I feel like I learned a lot even from just this one day. I did a whole day of buddying. So just, just listening in on someone else's calls, which sounds kind of boring, but it was, I mean, the day went fast. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was nice to get to know him. And I wrote a whole bunch of like ideas and tips on it, like how I can structure my calls and what I can do. So yeah, very beneficial. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and a bit more of an understanding of like, yeah, how, just how to speak to the cut. <laughs> this sounds so stupid. I know how to speak to people that I do not struggle with, but knowing how to speak to the customer and when to say certain disclosures and also how to educate the customer and getting some ideas on that. Cause that's really big in my new role. Um, so yeah, all in all, it was a good experience. I am just pooped. We are going food shopping. I'm just waiting for Nick to come home. He should be home any minute. I'm gonna go change out of these miserable clothes. I'm so sick of wearing jeans. I just take them off me. And I'm gonna have a shower because I feel kind of gross. Like contaminated, is that weird? I literally sound like a hermit, like I haven't ever left my house, but it's different. Working from home and getting used to working from home and then like converting back to go into office. It's a task, it is a task, but it was really good. It was really good to get out of the house. I feel like it'd be a really nice way to break up my weeks. So it's definitely something that I wanna implement going forward like once a week, just going into office, just to get that exposure and yeah, just like change up my routine a little bit. I probably won't be going for the next couple of weeks because I have some later shifts, like 11.30 to 7.30. 
<laughs> disgusting. Um, I've never worked a shift that late, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> At least I'll have like all morning to like do my thing, which will be nice. But yeah, finishing at 7.30 just doesn't sound the best, but that's okay. It is what it is. That's next week though. This week I'm working 8 till 4, apart from today when I was in office, it was 9 to 5. So I definitely prefer the morning shifts, just like getting work over and done with. I'm also like an early riser naturally anyway. So even when I am starting at 11.30, I definitely will not be waking up any later. Anyway, hope you guys all had a good day. My hair is actually doing the most. I washed it last night. And so it's just all natural. I'm gonna have a shower. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. What is up you guys and happy Thursday. I am just waiting for a call to come through. I've done all of my emails and like caught up on stuff. So I'm just honestly totally here waiting. It's been 15 minutes since my last call, which is weird. I don't I don't really know what's going on. I'm not questioning it, but I'm like, hello, am I logged in? Am I, am I working? But yeah, I've just made myself my second cup of coffee for the day. Really need it, really hitting that like three o'clock slump. Um, but I just have just over an hour left of work. I finish at four today. Right afterwards, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I have an appointment booked for five. I'm so sad to see these bad boys go. These are honestly, I mean, they're really grown out now, but they were honestly some of my favorite nails that I've ever had. I just think they look so good. Was honestly contemplating doing them for the wedding. I don't know if I would regret that though. Like, are they a little too funky? Are they a little much? I don't know. Maybe I'll look back on photos and be like, what the hell were you thinking? That was the trend of 2021. <laughs> I'm unsure at this point, but yeah, I'm gonna get my nails done because I really need a refill. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram story for your opinions. What should I get done? I put up a poll on my story, either these French, oh my God, my computer's gone black because I haven't used it. Hello? Yeah, either these pink French tip looking ones or there's like, daisy design one it keeps going back and forth between the two whichever one's winning but at the moment it looks like the flower design is winning but do i want that i don't know i think these are kind of cool i don't know i don't know oh my god is this my hair what am i doing i thought this was part of my headset i've just been hanging out the last art. i just been hanging out like chilling like Thinking this was just my head, part of my headset, like cord, and it's just my hair. Oh, this is just not okay. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that's so funny. I just, the confidence, the actual confidence. Anyway, thank God I looked at myself before I left the house. I think I'm going to walk to my nail appointment this afternoon just because it's such a stunning day outside. Literally not a cloud in the sky. I've done like three loads of laundry because we're so behind on laundry. And I was just waiting for some nice weather so um, that I could hang outside. We don't have a dryer, so we have to be strategic about these things. But yeah, I think I'm going to walk, get some steps in. I'm trying to hit my 10,000 steps per day for October, which so far is going really well. It's literally been over 15 minutes. I don't know what is going on. Why haven't I not got a call in so long? Okay. It literally just looks like we are not busy. I'm just looking at the wall board and it looks like we're just not busy. 53 staff, 23 available. What is going on? <laughs> What we ended up going with i don't think this won the poll so sorry <laughs> but i ended up going with this i don't know you can't really see in this i'll show you guys tomorrow but it's like a bright pink not quite as dark as my inspo photo i like them i think they're cool a bit fun a bit different it is a lot later now oh, i don't have my watch on it's charging but i just made dinner nick should be home from cricket in the next 30 minutes or so i made this pumpkin feta salad with my own dressing this whole dinner fully inspired by Rachel. I was watching one of her weekly vlogs and she made the salad and 
this sauté chicken that just looks so good anything that rachel does i do too so i've already eaten mine this is nick's but can confirm really good salad the dressing is chef's kiss and it's just nice to have Oh, satay, little satay chicken moment. I haven't had a chicken skewer in a while. So yeah, we've got lots of leftovers and now I'm gonna relax, read my book and just have a chill Thursday night in. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What are we watching, Nicholas? Pizza. We got some pizza. I went with a Supreme. Also, how good do my nails look now that I have a tan? Just elevates. Anyway, we're gonna watch suits, eat our pizza, just a nice Friday night in. Gotta fucking go through real quick. I do feel like this very tall, very hot Smurf. <laughs> He's so nice. I don't know if that's enough. Is that just about there? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, look, that one looked cool. The end looks good. It looks cool and you can see it all. <laughs> so I need to do... Okay. <laughs> so close. But you need to hide your face Afraid to step outside So you lock the door And don't you fade that way We've got seven, eight It's good, it's good going <laughs> <laughs> You have been selected at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry <laughs> It's a good angle, it's good to change up the angles Can we Ooh, always be a little scary? <laughs> Premature pull out. <laughs> you know all about that when you con. Don't know what we're talking Ow. about. Wow. She's done this again. <laughs> that one? That's exceptional. That's probably the best one I reckon so far. All ready for your first day of cricket? Yeah. O O T D. Southern District's head to toe. <laughs> She's looking at you with such awe. Fine, She's like, can I come? Beauty. Well, we'll try and do it for you. I think she wants the banana. <laughs> I love you. Good luck. Have fun. That's the aim of the game. <laughs> what is good, you guys? Happy Saturday. Good morning. I'm just putting on my socks. I am in a little bit of a rush because I'm meeting up with my parents. We're going to go grab a coffee and then I'm popping in to pick up some cake samples. We're going to do a little cake tasting um, for our wedding cake. I don't know if that was clear. Wedding cake tasting. Here's a little OOTD, don't mind the state of my room, needs a tidy. I have on these little gold hoops from Princess Polly. This corduroy blue button down is from White Fox. Leggings are rock wear and then I'm just gonna wear some sneakers, keeping it pretty casual. Yeah, we're gonna go grab a coffee, pick up the cake. And then we also have an open that I wanna go to. Um, Nick's playing cricket, it's his first game of cricket for the season. <laughs> um, so he can't come so I'm gonna go with my parents so I can get an opinion it looks really nice from the photos but we have been deceived by photos before I mean they give you an idea but when you actually are in there and you feel the vibe you feel the space it's a different story so yeah that's the plan for today then I'm probably gonna come home and just have a pretty chill afternoon slash evening Nick's playing two games of cricket today they're like 2020 games so shorter um, so he'll be gone all day and then he also has another one tomorrow we just love that cricket wife life. <laughs> I love that for me. Anyway, I'm in a little in bit of a hurry. I'm gonna put my shoes on and um, head out. Here he is, the man of the hour. Do what I say? Sorry. <laughs> we have. Some cake mm. samples. Oh my god. Oh yes. That smells so good. Okay, go. Which one are we trying? This first? is sticky date. Sticky date. Okay. I'm not usually a huge sticky date pudding fan. Um. Kind of reminds me of Christmas. It is nice. Yeah. But maybe not for a wedding. I'm not sure it's a wedding. Our wedding vibe. I guess what? if you were like a big sticky date 
<laughs> loving couple. But I'm not a huge sticky date fan as a rule, and I like that. It's so nice and moist. We have white fudge and raspberries. Here you go. Should we eat it at the same time? Yeah, sure. So we don't influence each other's. I don't think I've got much raspberry. That's the only thing, but what do you do? All right, ready? Cheers. That's pretty good. It's nice. Also, I can imagine eating that nice and light. So after a few beers and other food, you know what I mean? <laughs> Next. Uh, triple layer chocolate cake. I bet you will like this one. I do love chocolate. You can't really go wrong with a chocolate cake, in fairness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you can. Maybe this is going to taste awful. Thanks for waiting for me. It's right. I just like, I forgot. And then I was like, oh, we're doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty good, Cobb. Mm -hmm. Lemon Delicious is up. I hope it's delicious. Quite lemony. I like that. I like it a lot. Next, onto Raspberry Bullet. I'm really interested to know what this will taste like. Is this one Raspberry Bullet? Yeah. Hmm. Raspberry Bullet. Are you gonna wait for me? <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, I forgot to take that dinner out of the freezer as well, so I'm not going too well. Ooh. I like that a lot. That okay. actually tastes like a raspberry bullet. Oh, we need, I need a bit more. I need a bit more. <laughs> do you want to eat a bit more and then we can do the cheers? Because we didn't get to do it. No, nah, it's okay. The moment's over. Cheers, cheers. Mm. That is so yum. Mm. I don't think I would like that that much. That was that good. All right. But do you think people would know if it was raspberry bullet? Or they'd but, be like, what the fuck is this? But it doesn't matter. If it tastes good, it tastes good. Do you know what I mean? But does it only taste good because you know it's raspberry bullet? Like what? it actually tastes like a raspberry bullet. But we can't... Like, we can't look at yeah, it. Yeah, who the fuck cares what about other people think? Next up. Triple choc with salted caramel. We both flagged this one, so I'm very interested. No pressure, but... I want you to have the biggest slice this I'm time. I'm going to eat it first without you. Mm -hmm. Just getting That's out of the way, because I'm not selfish. I wasn't selfish, I was just hungry. <laughs> Cheers. You know what my is? I know George is not anymore. This is George. This dish, a 10 out of 10. <laughs> the flavours, the combination. It, oh. Okay, but well, did you like that one? <laughs> I forgot what it tastes like, to be honest. I liked it, but I like others better. Really? I don't dislike it. It's all, Can I just say, as like mm. a side note, all of the oh, cake. Oh, incredible, yes. All of the cake is so nice. It's so like moist. Should we try the last one? Red velvet. This I'm one a, might be a good one. I'm a big fiend for red velvet cake. What? Okay. I don't okay. know. I thought I'd like this better, but I don't really. You don't like the red velvet? Well, let's cancel that. I know which two I think are the best two. Okay. What do you think? I think we can agree that one that we should definitely have one layer. Yeah, so, okay, so we should make this clear. We're having two layers mm. or two tiers. Yeah. First tier, I think, not necessarily the bottom tier, just A tier, should be the triple layer chocolate cake. Okay, do yeah. You, do, do, that's, that's what I say. And you would like to try that one again? Yeah. Then, if it was just me, I would have the raspberry bullet as the other one. But that's Ooh, just... That is so good. We can both agree, triple layer chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. I think we should not have the raspberry bullet because it's too similar to the chocolate. Or we could have the raspberry bullet instead of the chocolate. No, I like the chocolate better than the raspberry bullet. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we'll definitely have the chocolate. And then we'll either have, would you prefer lemon delicious or white fudge and raspberries? I don't know. White fudge and raspberries would, would be a good counterpoint to the triple layer chocolate cake. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know, but all of them are really good. Yeah, they were all so nice. I feel like we were being so critical. Nah, next. No, because you have to be. <laughs> like, I would gladly have a huge all. slice of all of them. Yeah, absolutely. But for your wedding day? Yeah. I think definitely the triple chocolate definitely fudge. Definitely the triple chocolate. Is that what it's called? Triple chocolate? No, just no triple, triple layer chocolate cake. I'm getting confused. And then it's either white fudge and raspberries or lemon delicious. Stay tuned. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Do you know we're getting married? In like six months. When we wake, hear 
the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Morning you guys and happy Sunday. It is almost 10.30. I'm just about to head out and meeting up with my parents. It's my sister's birthday. I need to get her a card. I actually bought a card ages ago. I think it was this one. Went to Kiki K. Or was it this one? Hmm. What do you guys think? It's too late, but <laughs> what one? Screams Anya. I mean, they're both cute. I think maybe this one. I'm having this one. Anyway, it's my sister's birthday. Our birthdays are exactly two weeks apart. I mean, technically it's her birthday, but it's also the two week countdown to my birthday. What is more important? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's her 20th, 20th birthday. I only came to that realization this morning and I was like, oh my God, where is the time good? They just grow up so bloody fast. Okay, my camera just died, so that's good. Um, Yeah, I already have her presents sorted. Me and my parents went halves on like this really fancy perfume that she wanted to Anya you are the best <laughs> happy 20th wait let me double check she is 20 okay happy 20th birthday let me freaking write this card and then I'm gonna go meet up with them and then I'm probably just gonna go back with my parents because we're having family dinner tonight and just chill out with them for the rest of the day have some cake and hang out it'll be cute hear the crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright 